Voices the Iranian government doesn't want you to hear. Political editor Randy Shandabel, KTVU, Channel 2 News. The actions in Iran have prompted demonstrations around the world, including one in San Francisco tonight. KTV's John Sasaki is in the city where protesters gather to add their voices to complaints about the election results. John? Ken, this demonstration here in Union Square echoes what's been happening in Iran for days now. Iranians are outraged, saying their votes were stolen. San Francisco Supervisor Ross Mercurimi, who is Iranian-American, fired up the crowd. He announced that he introduced a resolution supporting the Iranian people's desire for democratic freedom. That we will not let this happen in Iran unanswered. Many in the crowd wore black in mourning for the protesters who have been killed by police. <laughs> Others wore green in support of opposition candidate Musavi. We're here to support them, you know, what they're going through and to stand up for your freedom and to be able to, you know, elect who you want to elect and not to be forced to take what is, you know, sort of shoved down your throats. Many people here said they voted in the election. I think Musavi will bring that uh, aspect of the uh, uh, governing in Iran that would help people's living standards and the economy and also improve pe uh, Iran's image in the world today. But some said they were not surprised by the actions of the government. At least in the past 30 years or so, they have been successful ruling with the iron fist. In fact, even here in San Francisco, some said they were scared to talk with us because they believe the Iranian government sent spies to the U.S. before the election to watch who says what. Yeah, they do that. I mean, there is no rule. There is no law. So, for example, yeah, if you talk and they have your picture, next time you go to Iran, they can take you right from the airport. Yeah, they do that. And you can just disappear from the face of the earth. A chilling prospect, no doubt. The people we talked with, some American citizens, others not, said they want Iran to be more like their adopted country. Definitely, definitely, of course. I mean, more, more like a, I mean, freedom. It's a, mainly, I'm not really supporting... Uh, one party or Musa, I'm supporting the freedom. That's the main, my, my you know, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of, uh, you know, human right. The protest ended peacefully, but a handful of people said they planned to camp out overnight in Union Square for their cause. Live in San Francisco, I'm John Sasaki, KTVU, Channel 2 News.